Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to EOSN. We have a very busy day ahead of us. We will be taking you guys out to Rogers Center, but first a quick rundown of what the day has in store of us. Very exciting day in these in the play along sports world. First up, we will have, of course, this game six of our 2016 MLB Play Along World Series featuring the, the Toronto Blue Jays trying to close out the Washington Nationals. Current series currently stands at 3-2. to two. Of course, Washington hoping to force a Game 7, which, if that is necessary, will take place later on today. Right after this, I'm going to get right to work on some football action. The Week 7 Sunday Night Football matchup of my NFL Play Along Featuring the Pittsburgh Steelers getting a visit from the Minnesota Vikings. That should be a very exciting game. But let's go ahead and take you out to Rogers Center. All right, here is the starting lineup for the Washington Nationals, hoping to force a Game 7 with a win here. Anthony Rendon, the second baseman, will lead off. Then Yunel Escobar, the third baseman, will bat second. Bryce Harper, the right fielder, will bat third. Jason Worth, the left fielder, will bat fourth. Clint Robinson, the first baseman, fifth. Ryan Zimmerman, the designated hitter, sixth. Ian Desmond, the shortstop, will bat seventh. Michael Taylor, the NLCS MVP and center fielder, will bat eighth. And Wilson Ramos, the catcher, will bat ninth. The Nationals are putting Jordan Zimmerman, the Game 3 loser, out there. And now we will see the lineup for the Toronto Blue Jays. Leading off, we have Chris Cabello. Right field. Then second, the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. The right fielder, Jose Bautista, will bat third. The NL, or sorry, ALCS MVP, Edwin Encarnacion, will bat cleanup as the designated hitter. Troy Tulowitzki, making quite the tear coming back from his injuries, will play shortstop and bat fifth. Justin Smoke, the first baseman, will bat sixth. Russell Martin, the catcher, will bat seventh. Ryan Goins, the second baseman, will bat eighth. Kevin Pillar, the center fielder, will bat ninth. And having a great postseason, Mark Burel will be the pitcher for the Toronto Blue Jays as we hear the umpire say. All right, here we go. Leading off for the Toronto Blue Jays, or sorry, the Washington Nationals will be Anthony Rendon. 219 batting average, 73 at bats, five run scores, four RBIs, one homer. And, of course, on the hill for the Blue Jays, we already talked about him, Mark Burel. Great postseason, 2-0, 2.29 ERA, 15 and two-thirds inning pitch, 10 hits allowed, 10 strikeouts, and only two walks. The first pitch from Burel. And that's going to be blank. It's going to come down to Rendon's car. Just so you guys know, if you haven't watched my videos before, I'm using Inside Pitch Baseball by Inside Sports Games. Um, you can find them at the link below at Inside Sports Games. Dot org. Um, we'll talk more about how to play the game as we go on. I'm just going to try to get started. Um, as you can see, you roll the dice and you go on the matrix. This will come in play later, or it'll come in play on other readings. But since it's a blink, we go to the batter's card, and those same red and white D6 will come up, and the blue D20 will come up. Rendon, three, four. This is going to be this double asterisk means an automatic out three. Double asterisk, three. He's going to ground. So first we'll click on that though. Ground ball two smoke for out number one. And the Blue Jays, decent start. Next up will be Unal Escobar, 72 at bats, 11 runs scored, eight RBIs, three homers, batting average of 222. Here comes the first pitch to Escobar. And this is a home run possibility. All right, so this is where the D20 can come in handy. All right, also another great thing about this game, lefty-righty splits. All right, 6-5 home run possibility. He's a right-handed batter, which means if this D20 is 1 through 6, it's a possible home run. Then it would roll down here. Um, so let's say this was a 3 instead of a 7. That's a possible home run. So what you would do, here, let's go and click that. It's, you would roll here, and his lefty, his home run against left-handed pitchers, Burrell's a left-handed pitcher, is only five. He would barely miss it, but instead he's not in that range, so we, it's a blink, and we roll on his card. 
And it's going to – he smokes a single past Donaldson, and the Nationals have a runner on. Next up will be Bryce Harper. He has been absolutely phenomenal the last two games. 62 at-bats, six runs scored, five RBIs, three homers, two stolen bases. As I mentioned in Game 5, the Nationals do really, really well when Harper goes. So – the number one priority for the Blue Jays will be to shut down Bryce Harper. Here comes the pitch. And Harper is going to get a range play. So what it means is it'll test the range of wherever the uh, to the of the defense of wherever the ball's hit. The range is here, two, five, three, four, one, five, two, three. Um, what it'll do is it'll roll a D20 over or sorry, a D6 over here. And let's say it's Pilar. One through five, it's a good. Six is a failed range play, and that'll mean a base hit unless it's already a single or a double or whatever. Harper. Fly ball. They are going to test Pilar. And he makes the catch. Great play by Pilar. And that is going to hold Escobar. Two down. And here comes Worth. Worth, 65 at bat, 7 run scored, 10 RBIs, 4 home runs. Here comes the pitch to, by Burel. And that's going to be a ballpark. One great thing about this game is it includes the ballpark ratings. Right here, um, if it was a strikeout, there wasn't a lot of strikeouts at Rogers Center. So it'll take away two. So his as his left-handed strikeout range is actually 1 through 10 and 1 through 7. His walks, however, there was a lot of walks there, will be increased to 1 through 11. And pretty much if you get a W, it's an automatic walk. However, it does not look like Burrell walked a lot of pitchers, a lot of batters. But also, this matrix, when I click on the at symbol, is going to turn into the ballpark matrix, and it'll completely change with the ballpark, as you can see. So we roll on Worth, and Worth, question mark, 7, which means it's going to be a fly ball left field. It'll roll a D20 over here, 1 through 3 is a single, 4 through 13 is a double, and 14 is a home run, 15 through 20 is a fly out. Here we go. And that is down for a single. And just so you know what the color codes are, green means go, red means no, yellow means check the ratings. So it's telling me to check the ratings on Escobar. One through three. Check second die roll of six counts. All right, lead runner thrown out. So he will get thrown out to end the inning. Um, it also, if it wasn't an inning, inning ending out, it would have given me an option for Worth to go ahead and advance on the throw. All right, so that concludes... The top of the first, which means the Blue Jays will now get their chance. First, let's look at who the Nationals are putting out on the hill. Jordan Zimmerman, a 2-2 record, 4.91 ERA, 22 innings pitched, 25 hits given up, 26 strikeouts and only 5 walks. And he will face Chris Cabello, the left fielder. 18 games, of course, so he's played in every game this postseason. 71 at-bats, 10 runs scored, 11 RBIs, 2 home runs, 282 batting average. All right. If you remember last time, they got to Zimmerman early in the blowout win over the Nationals in Game 3. Zimmerman. Going to get him this time as his he rolls a K. His strikeout is 1 through 12. And the D10, or D20 red 10. So that is going to be a strikeout. And Zimmerman already off to a hotter start than usual. All right, next pitch by Zimmerman. Zimmerman, all right, so this slash is a lefty-righty split. If he's a left-handed batter, it's a blank, and it will go to his card. If it is a right-handed batter, it's a possibility of a walk. Donaldson's a right-handed batter, so what it'll do is it'll roll, it'll take this D20 into account, and if it's within the ranges, so the number listed is the top number, so it's 1 through 16, 1 through 14, but it'll actually add to once I click on it, and it does... So that 1 through 14 turns into 1 through 16, and he walks Donaldson because that 8 is within that range. Another thing to watch is the strategy thing here. Um, I'm not sure exactly how this works because this is the computer version of an actual board game. And I'm sure there's a chart or something like that that you decide. Um, anyway, it's telling me hit and run possibility. So I click on hit and run. That means everybody's automatically dialed into hit and run. Here we go. Pitch by Zimmerman. Two, five. This is going to be a ballpark. Bautista, five, six. Might have. 
He's a left, sorry, right-handed batter. Possible home run to left field. Here we go. Let's see, he Bautista. Let's see, Zimmerman's a right-handed pitcher. He's a one through nine. It's not going to be a home run. Oh, it will as it is. Let's see. Oh, for some reason, I, read, I guess I read that wrong. And that's going to be a deep hit to left field. It is over Worth's head. And the, both the Blue Jays have a two-run lead here in a game six that if they win, we'll see them be crowned the 2016 world champions. Another thing, um, this is hit uh, for the pitchers. You'll notice these numbers right here. This is the... Um, um, endurance they have so he'll face 23 more batters this is his effectiveness anytime there's a hit RBI home run stuff like that one will come off this number so a three run shot three will come off the number one for all right two run shot three will come off the number one for each RBI and one because of the fact it's a home run so that should be a seven Fans who so yep with as you know it goes to seven all right, one down, and here's Edwin Encarnacion, the designated hitter. 291 this postseason, 55 at-bats, 9 run scores, 12 runs batted in, 3 homers. All right, here comes the pitch from Zimmerman, 5-6, and that isn't going to be a strikeout. It's only a 1 through 5 on Encarnacion, Encarnacion on a right-handed pitcher. So, as you can see, that does not fall within the range, so it's a blink. So we roll in Carcion's card, and he's gonna shoot this one to center field, and that's gonna be a single. And the Blue Jays have it going on right now. And here comes Tulowitzki, 273 batting average, 11 at bats, one run scored, one RBI, one home run, no stolen bases, 273 average. Zimmerman delivers the pitch, and then he's going to test, and this is going to be a range play for Tulowitzki. Tulowitzki will test. He's a right-handed batter, so he will test the range of Harper, and it's just outside of Harper's reach as it goes down, gets to the wall. Edwin Encarnacion, lead runner, advances, so he will advance. Ball cut off. Trailing runner is caught in a rundown. So Tulowitzki will be caught in a rundown. If roll is greater than BR, which it is, then runner is out. And so they will th throw out Tulowitzki at second for the second out. Yeah, so yeah, because his uh, the roll was five, the BR was two. So he's out and no advance for others. However, if the roll was less than, than or equal to two, BR, then that BR of two, then runner out and Encarnacion would probably advance to home. But it doesn't Everybody matter. Clap your hands. As here comes Justin Smoke, two down, two to nothing game. 63 at bats, seven runs scored, nine runs batted in, four home runs. Smoke, definitely one of the potential World Series MVP candidates for the Blue Jays. All right, so as you can see, it's a 6-1, so that's a, walk, a strikeout with a walk in brackets. The brackets would only come into play if he was tired. That means if this number was at zero, it would be an automatic walk. Instead, it is going to be a potential strikeout, and Zimmerman doesn't get the call. He could have easily gotten it, but it's just outside of what the umpire wants to see. Runner on third, two outs. Here comes the next pitch to Smoke. Smoke. This one is a single into left field. Shallow hit, too deep for Desmond. Too shallow for Worth to get there. And Carcion will score. And that's a 3 nothing lead. Three run first inning for the Blue Jays who want to be world champions the first time in 13 years. Wow, no, first time in 23 years. My bad. Yeah, 23 years, 1993. Okay, here comes Russell Martin, the catcher, 254 this postseason, 
59 at bats, 9 runs scored, 5 runs batted in, 2 home runs, 254. Zimmerman. It's a blank because if he was tired, then that would be an automatic single off pitcher. Martin. Ground ball to Desmond, and that's finally going to end this inning. After one, the Blue Jays are up three to nothing. Robinson, Zimmerman, and Desmond will be the batters for the Nationals. All right. Burrell once again has a big lead, and that should make him comfortable. It's going to be a ballpark reading to Robinson. Robinson. This one's an easy shot. To left field as he, or sorry, to right field, pulls this one into right, and it is a two-run game thanks to the leadoff solo homer for Clint Robinson. Everybody clap your hands. And now here comes the designated hitter, Ryan Zimmerman. Zimmerman only has nine at-bats, two runs scored, three RBIs, no home runs, no stolen bases, but he can when he gets on base, it seems to start something for the Nationals, so let's see if he can do it. And that's a strikeout possibility, and he got him for his first strikeout of the day. And here comes Burrell taking on Desmond. Desmond, 283 batting average on 60 at-bats, 11 run scores, 7 RBIs, 1 home run, and 2 stolen bases. He's another one that needs to come through for the Nationals. And that's a error possibility if it's on the ground. What they'll do is they'll roll a D20. And a 1 through 9, it's a ground. One, It's an error. 1 through 4, it's an error. 1 through 7, it's an error. Only if it's on the ground, though, is Desmond. Will actually double in the right field. And Desmond hits it past Bautista off the wall. And now the tying run will come to the plate in Michael Taylor. The NLCS MVP. Taylor, you see those three home runs? The reason why he won NLCS MVP, all three of those home runs came in a five-game series victory over the Los Angeles Dodgers, along with two of those RBI, at least, along with seven of those RBIs. All right, 62 at-bats, six runs scored, eight RBIs, three homers. Not doing great this World Series. They need him to pick it up. And that's a possible wild pitch. It isn't. So they will re-roll. If I did this wrong, please let me know. I'm not exactly sure how that happened. And tried to get Taylor to swing, but he wisely holds up for a ball. Here comes the next pitch to Taylor. Taylor. Fly ball. Right field. Bautista makes the catch. And it is not going to advance Desmond as we now have two outs. And here comes Ramos, 188 this postseason, 64 bats, four runs scored, eight RBIs, one home run. So he's one of those guys who, when he gets on, Rendon, Escobar, and Harper usually do their job to bring him in. They need him to get on to keep some momentum or to start some momentum. Blank, and it'll be up to Ramos's card. And that's going to be a question mark against a left-handed pitcher. 1 through 7, a single. 8 through 13 is a double. So let's find out. This one, fly ball into right field. And Bautista will make the catch. And that will end the top of the second. 1 to 3. Blue Jays as the Nationals got one back thanks to the solo shot by Clint Robinson. Goins, Pilar, and Cabello will be the batters for... Zimmerman, he needs to get into a rhythm as his team are showing, are starting to show some offensive efficiency. He's got to show some defensive efficiency as he, this is going to be a range play according to the stadium. 5-3. This one, deep center field. And it is gone. No chance for Taylor. And it is the three-run lead has been restored for the Blue Jays. All right, here comes Kevin Pillar. 172 batting average, 58 at-bats, six runs scored, six RBIs, two homers. 
Zimmerman with the pitch. And that's going to be hit into left field and back-to-back -back home runs off of Zimmerman. And that's probably going to do it for him as Baker may have to go elsewhere. And they're bringing in Sammy Solis to pitch for the Nationals. First, he's pitched two innings, one strikeout, no run scored. No earned run scored off of him this postseason. Solis, 4-5. One at the strikeout, but Cabello holds up. Cabello, 0 for 1, strikeout victim last time. And Cabello, single right off of Solis. Nobody down, and you have got runs, two runs scored thanks to the back-to-back -back homers by Goins and Pillar. And now you have a runner on first. Here comes Donaldson. He was walked the first time and was part of that two-run shot by Bautista in the first. Blank for Solis. Donaldson is going to... Double to right field off of Solis, and that's going to hold the runner right there. Sees a zero. And now, great throw by Harper to hold the runner at third. And Baker is going to stick with him maybe one more time. And he gets Bautista to strike out for out number one. Solis. Blank page. Ten Carcion. Fly ball. Left field caught by Worth. And failed sacrifice. And they are going to check it. Here we go. If roll is less than or equal to, we advance otherwise he holds. He's got a two, so he will hold. So good job by Worth making that play and holding the runner at third. Here we go. Two down. Can Solis get out of this without a run? Here comes Tulowitzki, one for one. And down goes Tulowitzki. Solis works his way out of the jam. Two runs will be scored in that inning by Toronto. And it is 5-1 to one going into the third inning. Rendon, Escobar, Harper. These are our three guys whose bats have to get going. 0 for 1 is Rendon. Blank. Rendon, 6-5. He's going to line out to Tulitsky for out number one. And here's Escobar, 1 for 1. Can he get on and start things going? And possible strikeout opportunity. And Bureau wants the call, but Escobar will hold up. Five. He's just outside of that range. Escobar. That's going to be a single. Looper into right field. And Escobar has two hits. And here's Harper. Harper, 0 for 1 in this game. He needs to go. Blank. Harper. Is going to double into center field. Lee, and let's see what happens. Lead runner. Let's see. Check second of die roll. Lead runner advances if roll is less than or equal to the trailing runner. And that is going to score. That is going to score Escobar. It's a three run game. Harper, if roll is less than or equal to. The trailing runners, BR, the trailing runner advanced on the throw. So he will hold, or hold on, if roll is less than or equal to, it is, and it's going to be a triple for Harper. Like we mentioned at his first at bat, this team seems to go when Harper goes, and he just had an RBI triple down by three. Here comes the pitch to Worth, who's one for one. Blank, Worth, three, five. This one, he grounds this one. To Donaldson. And Harper will try to score. And let's see what happens. He is going to run home. 
Let's see if D6 higher than BR. Out. It is not as Harper will score. As they try to get Harper. But Worth gets on with the fielder's choice. Wow. They failed the, the double play. Went for Harper. Harper somehow legs it out, and it's a two-run game. Robinson, one for one with the homer. A homer here would tie it up. Range play, Robinson. This is going to be a test goins, and it gets past him, and Worth is on third. As you saw, his BR was green, so it means he advances. One out. And the tying run is on first. Go ahead, run at the plate. It's Zimmerman. 0 for 1. Strikeout victim last time. And not this time. Z wisely holds up for the ball. Pitch to Zimmerman. Ground ball to the third base. And he is going to try to score. Will the defense try for the out at home? Yes. Here we go. Worth will score. Robinson will advance. All right, if 1D6 is higher than BR, all right. And once again, sloppy infield defense costs the Blue Jays. Trying to hold the lead. They could have had two outs by now. Instead, an end, and that would have ended the inning. At a 3-5 score, instead it is 4-5. Here comes the pitch to Desmond. 1-for-1 one one with the double. 1-4. No, no strikeout. Desmond, 5-1. Ground ball to the second baseman, and they're going to get the double play. As you saw, it was green, so yep. And that will end the top of the third. It is 4-5 Washington. And Dusty Baker is bringing in a new pitcher. Tanner Roark. He has a record of no decisions, 4.91 ERA, 11 innings pitched, 12 hits, 9 strikeouts, a walk. They may only get an inning or two out of him depending on how he goes. Roark strikes out Smoke, who was 1 for 1 to begin the inning. And here comes Martin, 0 for 1. Can Roark get another one? Martin will test the range of Harper. Harper has a range of one through four. It is two, and Harper makes a great play to bring out out number two. Here comes Goins. He hit a homer in his last at bat. Roark. He almost got another one as he drives this one deep to right field, and it goes foul. If that would have been a one through four, it would have been a homer, but instead it's not. Goins. Instead, we'll line out to Robinson, and that will end the third. And we have a game now. It is four to five, Toronto. Taylor, Ramos, and Rendon will be the batters. Burel. Does if that would have been a one through nine, it would have been a hit by pitch. But instead, it's a zero. So we will roll on Taylor's card. Taylor. Grounder to Tulewitzki for out number one. Here comes Ramos, 0 for 1. Bureau, blank, Ramos. Ground ball to Goins for out number two, and here's Rendon. 0 for 2. And that's going to be test the range of Smoke. And it sees barely past him. As you can see, he's got a range of three. The roll is four. Barely past him. And now Rendon is on first. And here comes Escobar. Sorry, I had to take care of something. And if you can bet if Escobar gets on base, the Nationals will have forced Burel out of this game. Burel with the pitch for three. No strikeout, not even close. As Escobar, ground ball to the second baseman. 
Goins for out number three. All right. Tanner Roark returns. He will face Pilar Cabello and Donaldson. Pilar got a home run last time he was up. And Pilar wanted the walk, but he's not going to get it as he'll face another pitch. This one, fly ball center field. Taylor makes the couch catch for out number one. All right. Roark. Almost got Cabello, but he holds up. And instead, we'll single this one past Desmond. And Cabello Everybody now has two hits. Here comes Josh Donaldson. One for one with a double and a walk. One run scored. The pitch, two, five. And he didn't get the strikeout as Donaldson pulled up. Donaldson. Ground ball to the first baseman. And they don't get the double play. Instead, let's see. Roll is greater than. So they're going to get the force at second. So they get the lead runner for two outs. Everybody clap your hands. Here comes Jose Bautista. One for two. Got that homer off of Zimmerman. Or sorry, um... The starting pitcher, forget his name right now. And Bautista is going to test the range of Desmond. And it is past him. And that puts runners on first and second. As you can see, he needed it to be a five and six to go from first to third. He's only a four. So runners on first and second. Two outs. And here comes Encarnacion. One for two. Roark will probably see this batter and that'll be it. Can you finish the inning? No, he just missed he misses the strikeout badly. Instead, this is gonna be a ground ball right towards Escobar. And that will end the inning. Here we go to the top of the fifth. It is four to five Blue Jays. Alright, Burel, he's lost a, most of his effectiveness, can only face five more batters before he gets tired. And now he's got Harper, one for two with the double. Depends on what Burel does against Harper. We'll make the decision. And he tries to strike out Harper, but Harper isn't fooled by the pitch. Instead, Harper will double this one to left field. And that will probably do it for Burel. As Harper, when he's on base, they score usually. And... Burel has been forced out of the game. And they're bringing in Jeff Francis. Jason Worth, one for two. He got on with a single, and then his next at-bat got on with a fielder's choice. And he tries to strike out Worth. Worth holds up. And Worth, fly ball to left field, and that will hold Harper at second, one down. Here comes Clint Robinson, two for two with a home run. A home run here would put them in the lead. And tries to get the strikeout, but Robinson doesn't strike out a lot. As you can see, he's got a five. 17, not going to work. Five, four. Ground ball to second. And it's going to advance Harper. As you can see, it says runner. Let's see. Yeah, grounds out to second. Runners advance on balls hit to first, sec, first. In second or catcher. This this is a chart specifically for ground out runner on second. So they will get Robinson at first, but Harper is in scoring position, tying run 90 feet away. And here's Ryan Zimmerman, 0 for 2, with a strikeout and an RBI. Pitch, 6 4. And they strike him out just barely. Zimmerman doesn't like the call, but that will end. The top of the fifth. Blue Jays will take over now. Five to four, they lead. Dusty Baker bringing in a new pitcher. And it's going to be A.J. Cole. As you can see, he does a lot of long relief. He can face 14. Those are That's almost a starter's number as he takes over in the bottom of the fifth. His, not his first appearance in the postseason. ERA of 18, one inning pitched, six hits, 
one strikeout. With this close a game, you can bet, though, he's got a short leash. And if they're checking air on the throw, except this is going to be a double past worth, and Tulowitzki's on. Here comes Smoke, one for two with a strikeout and an RBI. For those of you guys that want to keep track of it, here is the pitching stat stats right here. Here is the batting stats. Here is the inning. Here's the outs. And here is the score. Of course, here's the score as well. All right, here comes the pitch by Cole. Cole. Not going to get Smoke. Just barely. He wanted the call, but he's not going to get it. He needed to be 1 through 12. He's 13. Smoke will put this one to right field. It is caught by Harper, and he throws the ball. Well, to hold to Lewitsky, as you can see, here's another chart fly out. Runner on second, less than two outs. It's going to be his base runner rating. He has a zero, and it's a five, so he will hold. One down, and here comes Martin. Martin, 0 for 2. Here comes the pitch by Cole. It's going to be a ballpark, and this is a possible single. And then Tulowitzki will score, and he will hold up. So seeing S plus means at least a single. If it was a roll, uh, so you roll the D6 versus the BR plus the outfielder arm. Worth has an R, a two arm. So you roll it. If its roll e is equal to the adjusted BR, then runner safe with a double. Adjusted BR, then runner holds with a single. It is less than, or sorry, it is more than... So he will hold with a single. And it looks like they're going to send him to steal. They send Martin to steal. 3 through 19. If roll is equal or less than, then he's safe. If he's not, then he's out. He's only got a 7. It's a 16. And he is caught stealing for out number 2. Great play by Ramos behind the plate. Here comes the pitch from Cole. Blank. Goins. He has a home run earlier. Grounds this one to Rendon, and that will do it for out number three. They get two of them back, and it's a two-run lead. Six to four, Toronto going into the sixth. Desmond Taylor and Ramos will be the batters for Washington. Francis tries to get the strikeout on Desmond, but it's, as you can see, it's not even close. Desmond, ground ball. Two to Lewitsky. We're out number one. Here comes Michael Taylor. 0 for 2. And strikes out Michael Taylor. Beautiful command. And now here's Ramos. 0 for 2 as well. Two down. And that's going to be a single. Pass Francis. And the tying run will go to the plate. And Anthony Rendon. 1 for 3. Here comes the pitch. 6-5, and that doesn't, it's a possible passed ball, but it passes his rating, which is 3 right here, 1-3, and it would have been a passed ball. Said it's a 7, a, um, they say it's not within that rating, that 2 right there. So, or sorry, the 1, I think that's what they're looking at, the 1. So, foul ball, repitch. One, four, no strikeout. Rendon holds up as Rendon will line out to Tulowitzki, and that will do it for out number three. Here we go to the bottom of the six. A.J. Cole face Pilar, one for two with a home run. And he gets Pilar, no problem. Great command. And now here comes Pilar, or sorry, uh, Cabello. Two for three with a strikeout. Three, four, and he tries to get Cabello, but he's a little wild there. We'll say Ramos does a good job corralling it. Two, five. This is going to be a single in the right field. Harper can't get to it, and the runner is on. Here comes Josh Donaldson, one for two with the double, and they're going to employ the hit and run. Here comes the pitch, four, four. And that's a possible strikeout, and he gets Donaldson for out number two, but he will advance on the hit and run, as you can see.
if roll is less than or equal, then he's safe. Or sorry, hold on. If roll is less than or equal to this to the rate which it is, then he will get on thanks to the hit and run. Runners runner on second, two outs. And it's Bautista. He's got a home run, a strikeout, and he's two for three. Here comes the pitch, 6-4, and he barely misses that one. You can tell Cole wanted the call, but he's not going to get it as Bautista lines out to Desmond to end the inning, and here we go into the seventh. Escobar, Harper, and Worth in a two-run game will be the batters that Francis faces. He's done a decent job, but if one or two of those guys get on, you can bet his day will be over. Here comes the pitch, 3-4, and he's not going to get Escobar. Escobar instead will single past Pilar, and that will probably do it. As now you have Bryce Harper's 2-for-3 with a double and an RBI. Will come up to bat, and they don't want to play games with him. They're going to bring in Aaron Loop, or Laup. Laup. 3.40 ERA, no decisions, five, point, five and a third innings pitch, and two hits, six strikeouts, three walks. So has done great this postseason for the Blue Jays. Laup with the pitch, and he tries to strike out Harper, but Harper holds up. Harper instead is going to double into right field, but Escobar will be held, as you can see. If roll is less than or equal to ABR, the runner advance. Otherwise, they hold. His ABR is 2, and it is over it, as that we're looking at the 5. All right. Harper is on with a double, and they are looking good. Nobody down, and the tying run is in scoring position. Lau with the next pitch. Tries to strike out Worth, but he holds up. Worth instead. Uh-oh. Ground ball to Donaldson. And he's going to hold. And it will not be a double play. Instead, they will get the out at first, it looks like. See, it had to be green for me to even look. So instead, they get the out at first. Both runners hold. Smart decision by Escobar. Here comes Robinson. Two for three with a homer. Robinson will test the range of Donaldson, and he makes the play, and he is not going to try as it's only one down, and they'll get that up first. And now here comes Ryan Zimmerman. Now they will try if they get the chance. Laup will only make an appearance here in the seventh inning. Here comes the pitch. 5-5. Five, five. Doesn't strike him out. He wanted the call. As you can see, it's really close, but he's not going to get it. Zimmerman. Brown ball to Tulowitzki, and that's going to end it. And we stretch. Going into the bottom of the seventh, it is six to four. Blue Jays. The Blue Jays are six outs away from their first world championship in 23 years. Cole will come back into the game. He has done a very good job today. As you can see, one earned run in two innings pitched. Here comes the pitch from Cole. Incarcion, one for three, is going to pop out to the catcher. Great catch by Ranos for out number one. Cole with the net will now face Tulowitzki. He's had quite the hot bat. And this is a possible error on the throws. Tulowitzki, 4-5, is going to actually not going to matter. He will fly out to Taylor for out number two. And here comes Smoke. One for three. Smoke will test the range of Harper. Harper makes a great catch as it's right on his ability level. And that will end the seventh inning. It is still a two-run game. Desmond Taylor and Ramos will be next.
Laup will come out, and instead the Blue Jays will bring in Liam Hendricks. Hendricks, 2.43 ERA, 0-1 record, 3 and 2 thirds innings pitched, 3 hits, 4 walks. Here we go, the pitch by Hendricks. Hendricks will strike out Desmond. And he'll now see Michael Taylor, who's 0 for 3. He needs to do something. And he won't as he is struck out. And he is one out away from striking out the side. This could be an error check as Ramos, 6-4. Doesn't matter as that's going to be a fly out. Hold on one second. He's a right-handed. I'm a little confused because he's a right-handed batter. And right side of the slash is a double. And he will double. Okay, so they were just testing Pilar. And now Rendon will come on as the tying run. What can he do? Hendricks. Strikes out Rendon to end the inning. And now the Blue Jays are three outs away from their first world title in 23 years. Cole will stay out there. This will probably be the last time we see him. Air check. Martin, 4-4. Four, four. To Worth and no errors. He will make the catch for out number one. Cole will now take on Goins. Goins will strike out. Swinging. Two down. Here comes Pilar. One for three with that home run earlier. And he tried to get him, but Pilar holds up. Wasn't really even close. Pilar instead will fly out to right field. Harper makes the catch. And here we go to the top of the ninth. And out comes Hendricks. And in comes Asuna. Three outs. And the Blue Jays will be world champions. Here we go. Escobar, Harper, Worth, the three that have gotten it done today. Can they do it one more time to take this to the bottom of the ninth? Here we go, Osuna. First, hold on. First, let's check his uh, stuff. Sorry, Osuna. Two saves, three and two-third inning pitch, two hits, six strikeouts, one walk. No run scored on him yet. Osuna tries to strike out Escobar, but Escobar holds up. And Escobar will single past Donaldson and the tying run is at the plate in Harper. If Harper gets on base, it really wonders what the manager of the Blue Jays will do with Asuna. 5-4, blank, Harper, 3-4. Singles, pass, pull into center field. And the go-ahead run is on in Jason Worth. And Asuna will probably see one more chance as Worth will test the range of Pilar. And it is caught. Great play by Pilar. It tested him. And the runners will hold one down. And here comes Robinson. Just do not ground into a double play is what they are telling their guys. This one, fly ball, right field. And it will not advance him. And now the Blue Jays are one out away from winning their first world championship in 23 years. Pushing their closer, Roberto Osuna, to the edge. Osuna, two saves this series. He is a World Series MVP candidate should the Blue Jays win. Here comes the pitch. And the Blue Jays are world champions. The Toronto Blue Jays have won the 2016 MLB Play Along World Series, their first world championship since 1993, 23 years ago. They do it in six games. The win goes to Francis 
the loss to Zimmerman and Asuna will pick up his third save of the postseason. Home runs for Bautista, Pilar, and Goins. Robertson will get his third home run. And the World Series MVP will be Roberto Osuna. You heard it here. You heard it here. The Toronto Blue Jays are your 2016 MLB Play Along World Champions. Thank you guys so much for watching the 2016 MLB Play Along World Series. The 2017 MLB Play Along will begin in April. Thank you guys very much and have a great offseason. We will see you later for Sunday Night Football featuring the Pittsburgh Steelers hosting the Minnesota Vikings.